Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to share with you this awesome kettlebell circuit. And I wanted to share this with you guys because this circuit has a lot of different moves that honestly I have never done before. And this circuit involves a lot of core stabilization. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nina. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you never miss another video. And leave a comment because I would love to get to know you. Also, if you guys have any workout video ideas or recipe videos or any of those like vlogmas type videos that everyone is doing, leave them down below because I will definitely do them. And I thought I would share this. I'm like snowed in right now. Snowed in. Look, it hasn't stopped snowing. So, I'm kind of stuck inside today. I'm trying to get out, but my car's so little. I'm not trying to die. So that is all I have for you guys today. So let's get to the workout. Okay guys, so I started off doing 30 seconds of a narrow squat to an alternating kettlebell swing. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna be go down into a narrow squat and you're just gonna come up and perform a normal kettlebell swing. And after those, I did 30 seconds of a balanced single arm row. So you're going to be in a single leg deadlift position with that opposite arm out, and you're just going to row the kettlebell. If you can't keep that back leg up, you can place it down on the ground and then just work up to this position. And perform this on both sides. And then after that, I did 30 seconds of a single leg deadlift on both legs. You're just going to perform a normal deadlift. Once you come up, push up through your heel. When you come to the top, squeeze your glutes at the top. And then I did 30 seconds of a deadlift to an upright row. I up my kettlebell weight for this. You're just going to perform a normal deadlift and then you're gonna come up and then perform a upright row. And then my last move was a goblet squat to an overhead press. You're gonna hold the kettlebell close to your chest. You're gonna come down to a goblet squat and then come up and press the kettlebell over your head. And I completed four rounds of this kettlebell circuit. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.